What's up, Internet? Well, I have Boxy to do, and I figured I may as well get next week's episode done. And then I just realized that, you know, considering what I'm talking about, and the fact that it's almost midnight, probably not the smartest thing. But I wanted to play with my makeup. I wanted to play with this that I got, like, in Slate Lamp. And I got Boxy Charm to open and some Ipsy Mystery Bags. I want to see what I got because they've been sitting around for like two weeks now, so I got to do something. So, anyway, Katie asked on the conspiracy theory groups, which is ironic because it's technically not a conspiracy theory. It's a question about superstitions. Apparently there's like a superstition in, I think she said the South, which I kind of remember something like this in Gone with the Wind. Maybe it was one of those old movies where if the person dies, you know, they cover up the windows and the mirrors and stuff like that and stop the clock. And apparently, what did they say? Uh, stopping the clock is for the coroner, but shutting the windows is for the soul, which I don't really understand why that would be, quite honestly. But, I mean, do you want, like, them to just be trapped in the house? And, you know, but the whole covering the mirror thing is for, um... What did they say? So they didn't mistake a mirror for a window. Which you know, yeah, that's logical, I suppose. But see, the thing is, I have a lot of old mirrors in my house. I'm like attracted to them for some reason. And like, which I'm using an old mirror with all the discolorations and stuff. There's one with the discolorations and stuff like that on my dresser, and I'm standing right next to it. If I, like, literally get eaten by something in this video, you're gonna know why. Because I'm just like, why did I even do this right now? But I know there's one from my grandmother in my dining room, and my husband's always like, we need to replace the glass and stuff because it's all scratched up. And I'm the type of person that if given the chance, I would take like lead glass like that and actually use that for countertops. But I don't think we're going to get that much lead glass. So, and I'm going to attempt to not screw this up. So I won't really do that much of a complicated thing. I'm just going for neutral guys because it's midnight and I'm going to take it off. But is there a possibility that my mirrors could be haunted? And I swear to God, now I'm getting nervous that I'm going to look out the side of my eye and see something staring right back out at me. Good luck sleeping tonight, Melissa, because this is literally directly across from my bed. Which, I mean... It, this is actually the reason I stopped taking valerian root because I tried it once because they said it's supposed to be really good for insomnia. I swear to God, I had such nightmares just after one, one dose. And I remember waking up at three o'clock in the morning from the most vivid fucking dream that scared me so shitless. Me, at 42 years old, I'm sitting here hiding underneath the fucking covers about to piss the bed because I am too afraid to get out. And I'm just like, what the fuck? I mean, I, I, I don't know. What the, it, it was trippy. And I don't even know what the hell I was hiding from, but I just know it was going to get me. I didn't like that feeling. And now that I kind of think about it, you know, just... I'm hiding under the covers, you know, the monster's going to get you. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, but do you guys still do that? Cover up the mirrors and stuff? Because, I don't know. I haven't had anybody die in a house for a while, so. But, what if the spirit follows you home from a hospital or something like that? I had honestly never thought of such a thing. 
I don't know. I'm just talking at this point. By the way, the Russia Cosmetics thing is seeming pretty, pretty good. I actually, the glitter eyeshadow that I put on when I did, I think it was a slight glam because the other look was just such nonsense. I just spread a bunch of gold glitter on it and I was, then I was like, oh my god, how am I going to get this off my fucking eyes? And I don't know. <sighs> but yeah, it was easy to get off, so there's that. I mean, makeup wipe, and I didn't even cut my eye to pieces, so that's a good thing. See, but I wonder if there's any ghosties, like, trapped in my dining room mirror. No, just... I don't, I don't know. It's always like those things where they say that, that you should never pick up at a garage sale or whatever, and I don't know, I just try to go off like however things feel and what the hell is my dog doing out there <laughs> yeah talking about ghosts and now the damn dog's barking at something random just what i need right guys okay i'm probably gonna close out the video and go check on my dog and you know get eaten alive by monsters but maybe the last video you guys see of me might never know what I got in BoxyCharm. But, yeah. I mean, now, now I'm concerned about the mirrors. But, like, if I pick up something at a thrift store and it just, like, gives me some weird feeling in my gut that makes me want to puke, that's not coming home with me. <laughs> just, and I have picked up things like that. But, I mean, thankfully, not my creepy-ass dolls. <laughs> much to my children's dismay. <laughs> I wonder where my daughter hid it this time. I'm gonna have to find the doll and then post that doll on Instagram. And you'll probably see why that she hid it. But, <laughs> yeah. So I want to hear all of y'all's spooky stories and superstitions and stuff because I mean it's not really much more to talk about I honestly thought this would be longer but I mean does the same thing apply to old windows too because there's like an antique store in our town that I mean if I had unlimited amounts of money then I would most definitely just buy all of those old windows that she has out there plus like the old doors and stuff because I, I'm a weirdo that's one of the favorite things about you know cleaning when I was doing housekeeping in some of these old buildings was just the architecture and stuff and I was like oh, one day one day okay now both of my dogs are barking It's, 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 it's coming out somewhat good, guys. I mean, I can understand why they had, like, the doors, you know, shut off for rooms and stuff. Obviously, for keeping warm in the wintertime and stuff, but... I mean... Where did they expect the spirit to go, though? I mean, if they're blocking off windows... And blocking off the mirrors. The mirrors is totally understandable, but is the spirit supposed to stay in the body to be like buried properly, or do you want the dude trapped in the attic? Because that's how you get people trapped in the attic, or just a bedroom where you don't want to open that closet because the dude had nowhere to go. See, now I'm going to be thinking about this all night. Maybe this was not a smart thing to do. I mean, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should have thought more about it. But yeah, Katie, that, that's, that, that, that's my question. Now I'm questioning, I mean, I, I don't want a spirit to get, like, stuck up on one of the old windows, you know? But... <laughs> That would 
be pretty damn traumatic, poor guy. Now I feel bad for some spirits. Hmm. They never said exactly why they covered the windows, though. I just... The questions I have in my world now. Redman, why? <laughs> Huh. I don't know. So, that was a pretty quick video for today. Because, quite honestly, <laughs> just I honestly don't know what to think. And now I'm going to kind of second guess every time I see an old mirror. But, I'm going to say I want it. I really, really want it. But, I don't know. That one that I do have in the hallway by the girls' room does kind of give me some weirdish vibes. But... You know, nothing that's like, you know, I'm gonna eat you vibes. I don't know. Should I keep the mirror or should I donate it back to Goodwill? <laughs> All the Goodwill shoppers were like, thanks, girl. <laughs> but yeah, those are my questions for this week because it's. I, I, I don't know, the whole JFK Jr. thing that was supposed to come back, and then this one chick, she posted a video, and that, that, that's a pretty deep conspiracy thing. The, I, just, I just can't understand it. So, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I will have something more interesting to talk about next week. <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe you'll have answers for me. I, I, I don't know because I have questions, guys. I really do have questions now. But as for the review of the Russia B Cosmetics, I mean, it's aight. Pretty good. You know, it's good for neutral. So, I ain't mad. But I guess until next time, bye internet!